So I'm camped here Monday night. Up there is Weston Pass. And this is a road that goes off the Weston Pass Road. And here's my campsite. It's a little wet. There's my dinner. Cheese sandwiches. The creek that runs through. So I can wash up after dinner. Pretty darn wet around here. Couldn't make it up the pass. It's too wet. This is looking east by east southeast. Alma's over that way, about 20 miles or so. It's the highest drinking establishment in the United States, altitude wise. So when you walk in, and even before you order a drink, you're already high. Can't get a decent pizza in Alma, however. I walked into their one and only pizza place and the guy refused to make one for me. He said he just shut down the oven. Jedediah Strong Smith walked near here. Actually, I guess he rode a few horses. And he headed on down to the Mojave Desert via what was called the back door of California, which apparently nobody from the east had done before him. He met it with the Mojave Indians, the Pipa Ahamaka, people of the river. And they were more or less nice to him. They showed him the route to get through what is now San Bernardino and down to the missions along the coast of California. But when he topped the hill at Paiute Hill, he looked westward at a desolate hell of not only Death Valley, but also the East Mojave. He thought the Mojave Indians had deliberately sent him to his death. So he turned around and he went back to the river and asked the Mojave Indians, are you sure that's the right route? They saw him coming and they went and hid because they thought he was coming back to kill him for the theft of a horse. And they got to talking and the Mojave Indians assured him that it was indeed the correct route to the coast and to help him along the way a Mojave Indian uh, volunteer went with him which ended in grief when they got to California but that's another story when Jedediah Smith and his macabre guide got to California coast Smith made it a point to make friends among some of the more influential, that is, rich, Mexicans that lived there. He befriended a very rich Don in San Bernardino, and he also befriended a very influential priest at the mission of Santa Barbara. Smith and his Macav guide 
were told they had to go to San Diego to enter the country legally. As soon as they got to San Diego, of course, they were both arrested. Smith was arrested for the crime of immigration violation. He had been in Mexico for months without permission. The Macabre, Mojave Indian, was arrested ostensibly for being an escaped slave from one of the Catholic missions. The real reason they were both arrested is that the back door entrance to California was thought to be impossible and if that secret had gotten to the United States government that would have given the United States government a route to attack Mexico through California for the impending and thought to be very near war between the United States and Mexico. The governor of California didn't know what the hell to do with Smith. He decided to get rid of both Smith and the macabre. Getting rid of the macabre was simple. He was condemned to be shot to death. Getting rid of Smith, however, was more problematical because Everybody in the um, California coast knew of Smith's arrival because he was somewhat of a hero for having achieved the backdoor entrance to California. He also had his two rich and influential friends looking out for him. Smith managed to save the life of the macabre guide, but it was nip and tuck there for a while. Smith ended up <coughs> for a long time in jail while the governor of California stalled and governor told him, you know, we got to talk to uh, the people in Mexico City to see what the hell to do with you. What it really meant was, we're going to keep you here for bloody ever because we don't want you leaving. Because if Smith, Smith left, he would tell people of the route into California. Finally, the governor conceded that Smith would be allowed to leave, but he would have to be taking the same route out of California, which was Mexico, of course, that he came in from. That, of course, was considered a death penalty. Uh, death, um, yeah. The governor did not expect uh, Smith to survive that route a second time. Smith of course, agreed. He would be happy to get the bloody fuck out of California. Because he knew damn well that his life was, uh, you know, worth nothing to these people. So Smith said, okay, I'm going back the way I came. But of course, Smith did not. He was not a stupid person. It is entirely possible that the governor of California had people in his, from his army, perhaps, waiting to ambush Smith as soon as he left via that route. Smith could not be allowed to live. Smith, of course, took a totally different route, northward instead of northeastward, and managed to make it back eventually to the United States. And, of course, he told people about the backdoor route into California.